Hello, this is Eric Martin with the Mechanical Engineering Department at the University of Maine. Today we're going to look at Google's Drive File Stream, including the installation and usage of Drive File Stream. First, we'll talk about Google Drive. This is a cloud drive system. Cloud drives allow users to protect files off-site. Typically, users save and retrieve files by using a web browser or a Google Drive phone app. Google Drive also allows users to share files so they can collaborate on projects. Other cloud drive systems include OneDrive by Microsoft, Dropbox, or BoxDrive. Now let's talk about Drive File Stream. This is a desktop client that integrates Google Drive to a local computer. Drive File Stream is available for education and businesses that have G Suite. If you do not have G Suite, you can use Backup and Sync by Google. It's very similar but with a few small differences. Using Drive File Stream, files can be opened, modified, saved, or even deleted using the File Explorer or computer programs, just like any other file. Drive File Stream allows modified files to automatically be uploaded to the cloud. An internet connection is required for this. When a file has been modified somewhere else, either by yourself on another computer or by another user, those files can easily be downloaded for quick access. And once again, you'll need an internet connection to make that happen. We're now in a web browser. Let's go to Google Drive. Drive.google.com. We'll need to log in. And we'll choose our G Suite account if applicable. And you'll probably need to re enter your username and password. As you can see here, I have a few folders. You might not have any folders, or you may have many more folders and or files. Let's open up one of these folders, which is just various documents. Within Google Drive, the web browser, I can open up some PDFs, and I can even open up Word documents. If I want to make an edit to this, I would need to do it through Google Docs. I might even be able to open up a script file, and I can change that with the text editor. But a few files that I cannot open up is SolidWorks that I have here. When I open that up or I attempt to open it, I need to download that file. MathCAD is another type of file that is not able to be opened up in Drive. If I want to be able to work on these files in their native programs such as Word or SolidWorks or even MATLAB, I would need to download these files, work on them, save them, and then re-upload them. By using Drive File Stream, that eliminates that download-upload process. It's done automatically instead. So I'm going to check to make sure that I am in my G Suite account. I'm going to come to Settings get Drive for Desktop, and there's going to be an option here to download and install Drive File Stream. You either need to download it for Windows or Mac. I have a Windows machine, so I'll download it for Windows. And we can see that it's starting to download down here. When it is finished, we'll open up the file and install. It looks like our file has been downloaded. We can either open or execute the file immediately, or we can show it in the folder. If we end up closing our browser after the file has been downloaded, typically the file is located in our Downloads folder. But we'll go ahead and open the file. And after a few moments, a pop-up box appears. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the shortcut to our desktop. I'm going to remove the shortcuts to Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. That's up to you whether you want to include it or not. I'm going to Install. Once it's installed, we can close it. And if you look down at your task manager, you might see a icon, which is our Drive File Stream icon. And we can see that we have a shortcut to the Drive File Stream application. And in the background, I also have my downloads folder, which we can now see includes that file. Now that the program is installed, we can actually delete this file. So let's go ahead and execute the shortcut. It's going to tell us that it's already running. And for me, at least, it shows that I'm already logged in and I'm able to see my folders. You may recall these are the four folders that we saw in Google Drive, the web browser, just a few moments ago. You can also access your folder through the File Explorer. And here we see Google Drive File Stream. And we have My Drive and Shared Drives. Under My Drive, we'll see the various folders. I can open up my folder with various files. Then I can open up a Word document. Microsoft Word automatically opens. I can even modify it and save it. 
I can open up a SOLIDWORKS file. I don't need to download it. It's already on my computer. And we can see that the file is on our computer. Once a file has been opened on your local computer, reportedly it stays on your computer for 30 days. And after 30 days, the file isn't deleted, but it's removed from your local drive and it remains in the cloud. That could be a problem if you have frequent internet interruptions. What you're able to do is you're able to right click on a file under File Drive Stream. You can make it available offline. And when you do this, this file will always stay on your computer and you'll be able to work on it even if you do not have internet. If the internet were to go down, I haven't opened up this MATLAB script file locally, it's possible that it would not be available to me. So be aware of that. The drive file stream shortcut might be helpful to begin with, but it usually takes a few mouse clicks to get to the folders or files that we desire. I think a better way to do this is to actually create a shortcut on your desktop of the folders and files that you use frequently. Now we can get rid of this icon here and we can get to our commonly used folders very easily. If we want to see the rest of our folders and files from Google Drive, we can use our address bar here at the top. And of course, there's getting to the Drive file stream via the File Explorer. Let's look back at Google Drive on our web browser. If we take a look at our various files and look back at this Word document, we can see that it has been updated with our added wording. If for some reason your files on the web are not being updated, or maybe your files on your computer are not being updated, it's typically from one of two reasons. One, it may be that you're actually not logged in with your application. So down at the task manager, you'll see Drive File Stream. Sometimes you'll either see that there's an X there, which means you're not logged in, or you may not see your name here. The main reason for not being logged in is when you have a password change. Another reason why files may not be syncing is either that the application is stuck, or it may not even be active. If Drive File Stream is not active, you won't see an icon here. But if it is active, but just not working right, what you can do is you can click on the icon, come under settings, and then quit the application. You'll see that Drive File Stream icon is no longer here. And what we can do is we can come under our search and just type Drive File Stream. It should come right up. And by clicking on this, should restart the process. At this point, files should be syncing between the web and your local computer. Thank you.